If you're watching this video, you have tried every single hair product and it's never worked. You've watched the videos that have said, try this one ingredient and your hair will grow overnight and you try that one ingredient and your hair in fact does not grow overnight. You have watched countless videos telling you how to grow your hair, how to grow your hair, how to grow your hair and your hair is not growing. That this is the product you need, you need this brand, you need that brand, you need this influencer brand because this is what they use and then you look at the ingredients and the ingredients are crap like every other product that exists in the market and if you're feeling that way and you're watching this video now Buckle up, because I got some thoughts. Hey, I'm Deanna, and this is Jackie. Welcome to Glow in Peace. I have wanted to do this video for a while, and on today's video, I'm going to tell you all the reasons why the current natural hair industry is nothing but scammetry, and they have a high degree of scammitude. The natural hair industry was supposed to be built upon truth, helping black women grow their hair grow their natural hair, embrace their hair texture. But with YouTube spiriting the natural hair movement in 2012, it quickly became this commercialized get long hair quick scheme that has thousands upon thousands upon thousands truly of black women, not just in the US, but worldwide scrambling, looking at this influencer and that influencer and I didn't write notes because I just wanted to speak freely. But I, I will say there's so many things are wrong. Texturism and therefore kind of colorism plays a role into it. Because with the natural hair movement in 2010, 2011, really 2012 coming, you saw wash and goes becoming such a really popular thing. And it's, you know, it's enticing. It's like, okay, I'll wash and go. But that only works for women with curlier hair that's like type three if we want to class it type two type three hair they can wash and go but we can't wash and go nowhere like that's not really for us because we gotta wash then the tangle then add like extreme amounts of gel to get just a tad bit of the definition like we're doing all this to our hair to look like them rather than embracing 4c hair but I, I, I want to say texturism plays a role, but I think the re biggest reason why black women are unable to grow long hair is because no one has told them. No one, not to toot my own shofar, but I can't do a shofar, I don't gotta really am. But beep beep, um, when I made my video, I didn't realize, I was asking myself, the extreme hair growth video in 2022, I asked myself, why are so many people asking me questions? Because no one had ever come up with a routine. The advice that we get, and I've gotten for the past 10 years, especially the five years when I went natural in 2018, um, and stopped flat ironing my hair, and, and, I, and I cut my hair, I just got drink water, deep condition, wash and go, protective style. I got no concrete evidence. Y'all think when I talk about this, I'm talking, I don't know where you think, but I'm talking because I have been frustrated all my life, all my natural hair care life, trying to get, grow long hair and nothing has worked. So now, um, I'm gonna tell you something about the natural hair care industry. Come close, come, come here. It's a scam. There are no products on the market that truly exist for the health of your hair. I'm not going to show you the product, but I'm going to read you guys some ingredients. Hear me now. The ingredients that are in hair care products formulated for black women, right? There are such a thing as filler ingredients and active ingredients. I say this as someone who's starting a hair care line and formulated the products myself. My molecular and cell biology uh, degree really helps me out with this. But I say this as someone wondering, you ever look at a hair care product and you wonder, what is this and what is that? Like I know cocoa butter and I know water and I know castor oil, but what is all this other crap? Well, a lot of this other crap some of it is helpful. You have something like Cetrimonium Chloride, which is a conditioning agent for your hair. Very good and adds a nice slip. You have things like Cetyl Alcohol, Cetyl Alcohol, which are, um, they add to the volume and the thickness and the consistency of a product. And for the most part, they are plant-derived products. But then you have something like, I'm not going to show you the product, 
phenyl oxyethanol and it's not really good to have ethanols benzyl alcohols in your products certain alcohols not i'm, I'm not cedar oil, not cedar alcohols not um not steric well steric acid is not alcohol but the there are certain things that shouldn't be in here i want you guys to go look at your products and i want you to guys to look at things that uh behetrimonium methyl sulfate you see behetrimonium methyl sulfate and phenol oxyethanol are products that are potentially carcinogenic and these products are in your potentially carcinogenic because the reaction to make phenol oxyethanol the um is potentially carcinogenic from what i've learned and from the light research i've done it you can look at the products and see the cancer risk of each product and some of them pro these are higher than others natural hair companies use these products all around all the time because rather than being saying you know what black women i'm talking the ones founded by black women and then they sold it but they're like you know what oh my gosh oh my gosh we can just add a little cocoa butter we can add two percent cocoa butter filler ingredients sell it and they'll eat it up without and they won't they don't even know what it is that they're putting on their hair like if so it is very frustrating when I'm seeing, I'm not going to say the particular brand, but if you know, there's a particular brand of hair care products formulated for the thickest, coarsest density of hair. So I was very happy when I saw that there are other hair care brands specifically for thicker, coarse, the coarsest hair texture. So I, I saw it on Instagram, I checked, and I looked at the, in, and I looked at the price, and I was like, whoa, this price is, the price is pricing. So the quality must be top notch the ingredients must be the chef's kiss so i looked and i was behooved i was i was angry because i'm saying i would not put these things in my hair i'm not spending now that i know what these things do because i have i'm starting a natural hair i'm releasing i've already started it i'm releasing a natural hair company and i'm not just saying this to boost mine i'm saying this because i know what works and i know what doesn't i've been doing this long enough to know what what a product should contain what what the, the what a what a formula should be and i and i've been around i've been around long enough to know that these ingredients ain't doing diddly squat these women want to okay to divert let's go back to the one ingredient thing one ingredient cannot grow your hair please stop watching video i'm i and i encourage you stop watching videos that state one ingredient can grow your hair i <laughs> One ingredient cannot grow your hair. There are things, ingredients like cloves, rosemary, fenugreek, superfoods, they aid in the promotion of hair growth, but they themselves will not grow your hair. If you're just spraying, if you're putting clove oil or rosemary oil on your scalp, if, what did I say? If you've watched any of my content, you will know there are four, there are four things to grow your hair. You need to have an established wash day you need to have a protective style that is low manipulation i will never recommend wash and goes i'll never recommend because they're prone to single strand knots unless they work for you then that's different i recommend braids twists mini braids chunky braids things that don't require a lot of manipulation and that you can moisturize your hair through i can moisturize my hair through the, through this style right I can moisturize my hair through mini twists right because you need to have the moisture and then you a part of that is making sure your ends are sealed my ends are sealed they're curled they're not they don't have single strand knots I put it in a little bun or sometimes I leave it out and it's fine then you have um shoot they kind of one two three sure and then the last one is frequent scalp massages okay frequent scalp massaging is the it's like I described it as the key in the ignition like that's what gets it going like the other the, these are like the other I don't know how cars work important parts that make the car run but the scalp massaging is what's going to help it frequent scalp massaging you don't always have to use oil see these are the steps these are the steps that grow your hair not eat healthy eat kale drink water 
um, that sets the foundation for anything. Nothing grow, nothing good grows with inflammation. So if you're eating a lot of processed foods, if you're eating a lot of refined carbs, if you're not, if you're not drinking enough water, and your body's already inflamed, so you're already at risk for itchiness of scalp. Every every part of you from the inside out is going to be inflamed. So having a proper diet, having a proper nutrition, having an overall low inflammatory diet is going to set the a best foundation for your hair to grow but there is no ingredient but just doing that is not going to give you the growth it just lays a good foundation the other four th ish things i said grow your hair you put in that clove on your scalp i'm sorry to burst your bubble it is not gonna i don't care what the thumbnail says i don't care if you see the girls in the videos with the bust down hair to their toes okay they're, they're either doing other things or they are naturally able to just grow long hair and they use other things to aid, right? But if you're having difficulty growing long hair, go watch my most recent video about the summer hair growth challenge because that also breaks it down in my updated way and how I do hair now. And also, I, I, I'm not saying this to put others down, to put myself up. I'm only reason why I started this company is because I was tired of having to add my MSM powder, add my amla, add my olive oil, add this, do this, tweak this, freaking like that, just to get the product that I want. And I knew, and as much as I was tired, other people who were watching me, watching my content and, and were trying to follow along and do it were also tired. And they were like, you know what? I... I don't have the fenugreek of it. I don't have olive. I don't have this. I don't have that. I don't have access to this. How much do you put on Jamaican? I've said this before. I don't use measurements except for this line, which is very precise and scientific like that's different. But when I'm just adding a little bit of this and that, I'm not using measurements. So it's hard for me to tell you. And I don't know what your hair is like. So it's hard for me to be like, okay, this and that, you know, became a lot. So when my dad put it in my spirits, it's like, maybe you should start your own hair care line and it just started growing from since from since so now that i'm releasing it soon the this by the end of this summer um I, I want that's my i, I want to be able to help that's my goal my goal is to help because i i'm not going to show y'all the product i'm not going to show y'all the product i don't know what i i, I would say i don't know half of what half of these ingredients are but i know what these they are and they don't need to be in here if you have a coat if you have a macadamia nut oil butter i'm expecting macadamia nut to be the first ingredient in plentiful abundant because that's what i need the macadamia nut oil is going to that's what i need to help in my growth everything else is not it's, it's, a, it's supposed to support. They take these filler ingredients and make them the bulk. And then they add hints and essence of the abundant ingredient they, they claim their product is. And people buy it up. And even the country, that, the, the company that's catered toward the coarsest, thickest density of hair. I'm looking at these reviews. My dad was like, I think they got paid to make these reviews. So I'm saying like, this cannot be the best. You're, you're talking women with the thickest density of hair and this is the best i was so like i'm thinking you price it like this because the you're adding all these rich ingredients okay no they're pricing these products and i'm like this it didn't <coughs> it did not cost this much to make it did not cost this much to make i i have an idea and i will say this when the company comes out Nobody argues with anyone over their prices. This line is reflecting the line that I'm that I'm releasing reflects the actual cost it took to make plus a little bit more so I can stay in business. The price if you think it whatever you think the price is, it cost me just slightly less to make. So it's costing me my parents were the investors in this company a lot to make this okay the it is the price is the reason why the price is these companies are up charging these products that don't cost maybe more than like five six maybe ten dollars max and they're charging these products 20 30 40 dollars ridiculous it is very disheartening and i just want you guys to be careful 
please stop consuming the reason why content like one hair put this one ingredient in your hair and your hair will grow overnight which is literally impossible okay the most your hair your hair will not grow 10 inches overnight i know there are people go in my comments of the extreme hair growth breakthrough four tips video that i posted last august you'll see many comments saying i did this for a week and my hair grew one and a half inches that i'm telling you the method i'm not just saying it to say it i'm saying it because nothing nothing changed when i until i started doing that and i did that for a month and my hair went from bit like just like touching my my natural hair went from kind of touching my shoulders to like my collar to like my collarbone here in about 30 days and that's significant growth people in the comments have been sharing their tes testimonies about you know how this method works and it works because it ensures that if your hair is healthy right you putting the the the, the superfood herb oil on your hair is not going to do anything just doing scalp massages are not doing anything if your ends are not sealed if your hair is not moisturized nothing is gonna your hair will literally not grow because it is not healthy well I, I'm, I'm, I'm repeating myself be, for emphasis because I want you guys to understand that the reason why these natural hair influencers are popping and they get the millions of views is because people encourage them people will think oh my gosh if i they have long hair and they put the, this and they said their hair grows overnight so if i put this on my hair then my hair will grow overnight and these companies get away with this because we keep supporting them you know why because we don't know anything better this is all this is all that's available to us that the, the the subtle little additives and fillers that bulk up a product meanwhile you're thinking you're putting macadamia nut um oil the butt curl cream on your hair and it's basically a bunch of other things and additives some plant-based some sin I'm, and i don't take anything away from things that are synthetically like created but you gotta look okay what does this actually do for my hair is this what is the cancer risk okay it's low okay it should as it should be all right why is this mainly the product why is this filler ingredient the bulk of the product and the macadamia nut oil is barely in here but people are desperate, you know, they, there's nothing else, you know, the, other than the the niche natural hair care market, all we have are the other, the, for, for white women and non-black women, essentially, and those products, though, like certain products, like a shampoo and conditioner, you know, work, if I'm going to spend $50, if I'm going to spend bread, and I don't mind spending money on my face, I'll spend money on, on face care and, you know, skin care and, you know, hair care. But I'm not spending $40 on a product that's not worth more than $10. Like, really be for real. Um, I'm not spending money on a shampoo that is not rich in a lot of growth promoting health ingredients. Like, I'm not spending that kind of money on a product that's not going that's not effective if that makes sense so I, I want you guys to really rethink these influencers and I'm not saying this because I want you just to buy my line I'm not saying this because I just want you to watch my videos I'm saying this because I am one of you I am frustrated and I was my hair literally literally was not growing I did everything they said I did the wash and goes I used this curl cream I used that product I used this I tried wigs I did braids I did everything and nothing worked until I did what I did and now my hair is very healthy it's all tucked away it's 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 thriving and when I and I'm myself gonna do the June um, challenge and I'm going to do the summer challenge with you guys and document my progress and do the scalp massages and and keep my hair in protective styles maybe put my hair in flat twist and alternate between the braids the twist the mini braids just to switch up my style and I I I pray you guys do the same I can also I, I'll link that video the summer challenge if you want to you know grow your hair finally and you want to really break through in your hair care journey I really recommend you do that because these I don't care if it's the most famous influencer famous celebrity look at the ingredients look just look at the ingredients and you'll know everything is the same and I make a promise a Deanna promise that when my line comes out I it's it's different because I I have a, 
invested time, effort, energy. I'm not saying it's going to work for everyone because everyone is different. Everyone has different hair needs. Some people thrive on products that currently exist in the market and that's fine. This line is for the people who are tired and just like, listen, I just need a kit, a set of products to help preserve my hair, grow my hair. And I can't promise it's going to work for everyone because everyone is different. But this method is the method itself and the products I'm pretty sure there is at least one or two probably three products of the line that you're like you know what I really like because I would not sell you guys anything I would not would not use this is why I have taken the time to formulate these products I, I'm taking this time to formulate the products because I have to if I'm not if I don't put it on my hair I'm not selling it to y'all and I don't think a lot of the influencers and the celebrities and the natural hair people even on YouTube who have lines are use their necessarily use their lines I don't know I, I don't necessarily think so but I'm also not that sure so I you know I'm just saying but these these you look at the ingredients I'm like bro these are all literally the same all of this is the same what about an end sealant Hello, I formulated one and before and, and, and I have to make a video to state when when I released the line stating I created hello, I'm Deanna East. I'm the first person to actually create an end sealant. Maybe someone did and never posted it, but may, I will be sure to post that video. So when everyone jumps on the bandwagon and everyone's jumping on the bandwagon saying, oh, end sealants and then sealants, you heard it here, folks first folks because it's the most obvious product they constantly tell you to seal your ends without telling you what to use to seal your ends then before you're like oh my gosh seal your ends with oil that's the dumbest thing you can do if you seal your ends with oil plain castor oil a rich butter like shea butter mango butter your ends will literally break have scent oil seals moisture right but your ends are the most delicate part of your hair they constantly brush against your clothes your 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 body right if you take no matter how much moisture you put in your hair right unless you're doing a wash day and you're twisting or you're braiding your hair with a product that is rich in oil but there's also moisture in that so that's different if you were to just take on a random re-moisturizing day some coconut oil or castor oil or mango butter and put it on your ends your ends are gonna get they might feel a little good and then they're going to start breaking I did this with grease I did this with mango butter I did this with shea butter I did this with castor oil I did what the girl said and I realized these are not sealing my ends these are breaking my ends so then I was resenting using oils or butters when I realized I'm not using them properly so Shea Moisture used to have, and I can say it, Shea Moisture used to have this split end repair balm, right? And it was great. It was a part of their Manuka honey and yogurt line. And it was amazing until I stopped seeing it in stores. I stopped seeing it at my beauty supply store, Target. Um, I stopped, It was sold at Ulta. I stopped seeing it. Then I started looking at Amazon and it was like 20 some dollars. I'm like, it's literally $11 in the store. I'm not spending... $22 plus $10 shipping just to buy this and then I just really stopped seeing it so I'm like okay and I never really thought anything of it I just bought it because I bought like the the deep conditioner that went with it because the deep conditioner at the time that I was using it was working for my hair that you know right so then I one day when when I was taking my natural hair care seriously even more serious probably October of 2021 I noticed that even though my twists were moisturized my ends were dry so I took a little of the of the um of the split end repair balm and I was just like whatever let me just put some on and I noticed my ends were getting nice and coily so I'm like oh, oh my gosh this works so I started using that but then again I stopped seeing in stores I was I only had the one jar so then I was like how can I recreate this so I looked at the ingredients of it and I was like okay it has wax it has castor oil it has honey so I started putting the Murray's beeswax 
in a jar, mixed it with some shea butter, some castor oil, some honey, a little MSM powder, and I mixed it and mashed it together, and I used that, and it worked. It worked really well. But the thing about, you know, people don't have, when I was sharing that on YouTube, people were like, I don't have those ingredients. So I was like, aw, I don't know what to tell you because there's no split, there's no other alternative other than that which is not sold in stores that which I kind of made and there's nothing really else I can tell you until through complete accident might I add God is so good because this was an accident I was trying to make like a, a curl cream or a leave-in conditioner and I and I was making this and I was like dang and God is, God is like, God had to hit me in the head with a coconut. Because I was looking at this leave-in conditioner, I was like, dang. This leave-in conditioner is not, the, it's too thick. You know, but it's not, you know, but it's not, you know, too loose. You know, it's not too watery. So I put it on my ends, I put it on my scalp. And it felt so good on my scalp. And it felt great on my ends. And I noticed my ends were curling. Like, really coily. I'm like, you know what, too bad, this leave-in conditioner would make a great end sealant. And I was like, but whatever. Ah, oh, man, I gotta formulate an end sealant. And then I put some more on my ends, on my twist, and I was like, you know, this makes a really good end sealant. What, how am I gonna formulate an end sealant? Did it another time? Wow, I wish, I, this would be such a great end sealant. I wonder how I'm gonna make an end sealant. And a guy was like, Deanna. I'm like, oh, heard you. This is the end sealant. Made by accident. Was I wrote my recipe down, wrote the formula down, was trying to make a leave-in, made and made a fire and seal it. From then, I tweaked it a little bit more, and it is truly a great and seal it. This is from someone whose ends get really, really dry. Even the curl cream, I don't want to say the curl cream doubles as an end sealant, but yeah, kind of. Like I wouldn't recommend, and I'm not just saying this so you buy my product. I wouldn't recommend you not use an end sealant because my hair is also at a state where it's pretty healthy and I'm not touching it. But if you have like mini twists or mini braids or something like that, the end sealant, if you were to take it and just kind of clump up your hands, it will it will more or less to your curl pattern do like however your curl pattern does when it's nice and your curls are nice and juicy. And I, I mean, it works, it might work different for everyone, but I, like I said, I'm not going to sell y'all product I wouldn't use. So... When company, someone did come and say, man, companies are going to come out with dupes. The thing that is, the companies can come out with the dupes of this, which I can, I see happening, but it will never be the same because they're too cheap to actually make their products rich in the ingredients I use. If I say this is a, I'm just saying, macadamia nut oil based product, right, that this is a part of the macadamia nut oil collection, then, then it's going to be very rich in that. And the other ingredients, like my, like your cedar oil alcohol that adds a nice creamy, rich consistency, and it's a plant-based product, stuff like that, is um that that's going to help um 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 the, with the consistency of the product. That that's just to help, right? That's not what all that the product is. So yeah. I, I hope I helped. You guys like my earrings? I forgot I had these. I wanted to put them on for this video. But I hope this helps. Please, 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 please. I know they're attempting to watch. But the more you give attention to the videos that claim that your hair will grow in two days. Which I will never claim. And I will never claim that with my products. I'll never claim that with my methods. I claim it takes time. But I do. But it does. It it does for me and my experience, when I did the four-step method, it accelerated, or, or the Deanna method, I'll call it, it did accelerate my hair growth. I saw more hair growth in a month than I did in probably the four years, the four years prior that I was natural. Like, it was truly crazy. Um, my, the length retention was deadly, okay? Well, well not deadly. In heavenly, thank you. It was, the, it was, okay. But, um, yeah. Um, I want you to know your thoughts in the comments. What what companies do you think need work? What are you excited if you want to buy? If you really want to buy the part of, like my company, just send me an email to dke.glowy to be at at gmail.com to be added to the email list. So you'll you'll know when it's released and you'll know I won't pre-launch it. I'll just launch it. It's a limited launch, so as long as supplies last, it's out, and then you can pre-order it when it comes. So it comes back in stock. But um, I gotta go because. It's my off day and I just but I want to make a video. Okay, so I love you. 
Jackie loves you and we'll see you in the next video.